it's time to talk about the new Windows 10 May 2020 update. Let's dive in. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really, that's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because a new version of Windows 10 is just on the horizon. Now the suspected release date was May 12th, but that might slip just a little bit, but pay attention to the tech news, check your Windows 10 updates, and you'll see it soon enough. And if you're a Windows insider, you can actually get access to the beta builds right now. So, what kind of new features can we expect? I'm glad you asked. Part of this Windows 10 May 2020 update is something you may have already seen. I'm talking about those new app icons. Microsoft is adding color into the icons as they move away from the primarily monochrome look. This is part of a bigger interface update, which we'll see more of in the future. In fact, Microsoft teased this concept on Instagram back on March 19th, 2020. Two of the notable changes from the teaser video were the removal of the colored fills in the start menu tiles and a new file explorer. That aside, let's take a look at some of the new features. Cortana is now a standalone application. You can undock it from the taskbar and the window behaves like any other Windows application. In the settings, you can change the default input to be voice or text, and you can summon Cortana with Windows key C on your keyboard. You can also use Cortana to launch apps and change settings by again speaking or typing, but I had some trouble while performing some of these actions, but keep in mind it is a beta. Moving on, let's take a look at search. Quick searches now appear at the bottom of the panel, and there's a cool reverse search button, which is also available in the Photos app. Click it, and you can drag a marquee selection around an image, then Bing will automatically display visually similar search results. The game bar has a new performance overlay. You can pin this to your game so you can monitor performance without having the rest of the game bar UI open. It will also display frame rate, except for some reason it doesn't work in any of my games? Sad face. Moving on, the calculator now has a new button which makes it float above other apps. Pretty neato. Another small feature is you can now rename the virtual desktops inside your task view. Click, type, boom, done. Also, the task manager can now display GPU temperature, but I guess it doesn't work with my system? Max fan control detects it in Mac OS, so I know a thermal sensor is there, but I guess it's not compatible with this Windows 10 build. Another sad face. Now let's transition to the settings application. It seems like with many new versions of Windows 10, Microsoft is taking those classic control panel items and moving them into the modernized settings application. They're doing more of that, but they're also adding in some other features. Let's take a look. First up, you can now set data limits under the data usage setting. You can set the size of the limit and have it reset monthly, or you can have it reset after a set amount of time. You can also set additional bandwidth limits for downloading updates in the background. Under the ease of access setting, you can change the mouse pointer color, including an inverted option, and you can enable a new feature called text cursor indicator. This makes the text cursor easier to see, and you may also adjust its size and color too. And now, yes, you can adjust the mouse pointer speed in settings without having to summon the classic control panel. Let's switch over to the sign-in options. If you use any non-password options for sign-in, you can now disable the password field on the lock screen. I'm old school, so I still use a keyboard. Here's another handy feature. You can now reset your PC with a cloud download. So if your system is full of junk and you need to reinstall, you can download a fresh copy of the OS without having to restore ISO files or carry physical media with you. One more setting change I want to show. When you get a notification, you'll notice a new gear icon. If you click it, you'll see options to instantly turn off all notifications for an app, or you can use it to jump right to the notification settings. All right, we covered a bunch of new settings and a bunch of new features, but now let's jump over to Windows for Linux subsystem. WSL was originally released on August 2nd, 2016, and version two was released to Windows insiders on June 12, 2019. So it's been around for a while. Go ahead and play with it if you haven't already. In the May 2020 update, Microsoft has been readying some improvements. The biggest change is the complete architectural restructuring with a real Linux kernel, which runs in a lightweight Hyper-V virtual machine environment. One of the benefits of this is you're essentially killing the middleman, aka the translation layer from WSL1, which means Linux binaries now have full system call compatibility. I don't know what that means 100%. I have some links in the description that'll show you more about WSL2, including a tutorial on how to enable it on your system. And if you want, download Windows Terminal too. It lets you run multiple shells inside of one program and you get tabs and all these cool customizable settings. So go ahead and try that out too. Also, speaking of open source things, I just want to remind you that Microsoft recently relaunched Power Toys and they're open source now. These are power user tools that date back to Windows 95. 
My buddy Michael MJD actually did a video about these recently, so go check it out. And also feel free to download the power toys and have some fun. I think it's fair to say those are the most noteworthy features in the new Windows 10 May 2020 update, but there's a crap ton, literally a crap ton of other changes. Feel free to use the link in the description to see the documentation and look at all the stuff yourself and have fun with that. If there's other features I missed, which I know there are, feel free to leave a comment about those down below as well. And if you want to get more goodies from me and from the Computer Clan, including a 5K resolution download of this awesome wallpaper, feel free to click that join button below the video so you can get access to all that cool stuff. Thanks for sticking with me, catch the crazy, and pass it on.